Hey guys, thanks for joining us for episode of Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today we're going to take a look at a gameplay video for the brand new game on Kickstarter called Invictus. This is a two to six player cooperative competitive deck building game. And in this video, we're going to I'm going to show you guys how a team battle works. So I'm going to have one team of two players versus another team of two players. And in my gameplay videos, what I do is I cover the first couple turns, middle couple turns, and end couple turns, so you guys can see the progression of the game without having to watch the entire game. So that'll help to keep the video short. So as always, if you guys enjoy these videos, if you like what I do, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel as it's going to help me to continue to grow and bring these games to you guys. And if you want to stay up to date on all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. One other thing I want to point out real quick is that all the materials you guys see in this are prototype materials. None of this reflects the final production copy materials you guys will receive later on after backing. So let's head to the table and I'll show you what this one's all about. So I'm all set up and we're ready to begin the game. So in this game, I'm going to show you guys a team battle with Hades and Zeus on a team versus Ares and Artemis. And to determine the first player, it'll be the player that has the lowest amount of hit points. So Hades will be our first player to go. So he's going to go ahead and start us off. And during each player's turn, if they have the resources, they can activate their god powers twice. Now they can either do that with activating one god power two times or activating each of them once. A player can also use a standard attack, and based on the, their fire powers, how many times they can do that. So initially, each of our players can only do one standard attack during their turn, but if they upgrade their rate of their fire rates, then they can do it more times, one extra time for each upgrade that they do. So with Hades, he's got four his four Prisma cards and a Gladius card. So he is going to go ahead and spend three of these to purchase an upgraded card for the Mystical Pearl. Or Mystic Pearl, and then he is going to store the Gladius in his charge station so that he can try to start working towards activation of that. And each player can only store one card in their charge station each turn. So the last card in our hand, we don't really have anything to buy with it at this current point. Well, actually we do. Let's go ahead and spend the Prisma to buy an Elixir. From here, then we'll go ahead and draw back up to our hand size of five artifacts. So there's one, and then these will be shuffled up. All right, moving over to our next player, Zeus, to take their turn. So with Zeus, we have a Clinker, three Prisma, and a Gladius. So let's go ahead and we need to get rid of this because it doesn't help us in any way. It's just basically a card to take up space. So we need to destroy it by spending one Prisma cost, which is listed in the bottom corner there, to eliminate it from the game. Then we have three cards left. So with Zeus, let's go ahead and fire off Gladius onto Artemis there. So we're going to go ahead and put this in our discard and then draw and reveal a boost card. If it is a red boost card matching our accuracy, then we can target that player. And we also need to make sure that we have the range to do so. Currently, each player only has a range of one, which means you can target the player to your left and player to your right. So Zeus can only target Aramis right now. As Hades is on his team, so he doesn't want to hit him. So since this was a su successful attack, being that we revealed a red boost card and our accuracy only applies to red right now until we upgrade more to include more of the colors, then we'll do 10 damage to Aramis. So Aramis will take 10, and then we're going to resolve her ability. So with hers, it says, with Orion, which is a counter, it says, if an enemy's standard attack or character ability reduces your health, flip a boost card, and if a green or purple... Orion is going to deal 10 damage to that player that cannot be blocked. So it was not a purple or green, so it's not going to do any damage back. And then finally, Zeus has two Prisma cards remaining, which isn't going to do him any good right now. He could buy a boost card that costs two, or he could hold on to these and potentially get some more cards next turn to help him buy something else. So let's go ahead and hold on to these. And he'll take this one into his hand, and then these two will be shuffled up, which are the only two remaining, so his hand will be the same as next for next time. And we're going to move on to the next player. So Aramis will be the next one to go, and she is going to, she has a clinker and four Prisma cards as well. So she's going to go ahead and get rid of the clinker by spending one. And then she's going to go ahead and spend these three to purchase a Mystic Pearl. Then she'll redraw up her hands. Then we're going to move over to Ares. So Ares also has the clinker, and he's going to go ahead and get rid of it as well. So he'll discard a Prisma. He has two 
So he's going to buy a boost card. So it's a red one. So he gets a hold on to it. And the red ones are counters. And this one says, if an enemy player uses any type of character ability, including counters, that ability fails. So that's a really nice card. And then he does have Gladius that he can use to attack somebody if he wants to. And remember, keep in mind, with the range, he can only attack Aramis or Hades. And he obviously is not going to attack his own teammate. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll go ahead and go after uh, Hades and see if we can get him. And it was a fail. So no damage is done, and he's simply done with his turn then as he has used all of his cards. So he's going to draw back up. And you can have any number of boost cards in your hand at any time. Then they do not count against your hand size, so they do not count as artifacts. So he will have, be able to have this in his hand as well as his maximum number of artifacts. So Hades has got that clinker now, so he will also spend a Prisma to get rid of that. And he's going to go ahead and spend these two to get another Mystic Pearl. And the Elixir... He's going to go ahead and spend both of these to activate this ability. So this will let you heal 10 hit points and then deal 10 damage to an enemy in range. So he's at maximum health, so that's not going to help him. But he can deal 10 damage to Ares. And Ares does have a counter, but it only applies to damage that is greater than 10. So it will not activate against this ability. From there, then he'll go ahead and draw back up. So he's got two here, and we'll shuffle these up. All right, over to Zeus. He's got four. So he's going to go ahead and spend three to buy a Mystic Pearl. He'll hold on to this one, and he's going to store that one. Aramis is our next one to go, so let's see what she has. She has four Prismas. So again, she'll go ahead and buy a Mystic Pearl. She has Gladius and a Prisma. So let's go ahead and fire off Gladius on Zeus here. And again, she'll reveal no luck on that and she's going to hold on to the prisma and draw back up over to aries so aries has got four prismas gladius and that so again he's going to go ahead and buy a mystical pearl or mystic pearl and he'll hold on to that and he's going to go ahead and try to hit him again with the gladius and again it fails so he's going to end there Back over to Hades to take his turn. All right, so he's got six buying power here, so he could buy a, a really big card if he wanted to. But uh, at this point, it's, it's important to start upgrading some of their abilities too. So he's going to go ahead and upgrade his accuracy, so it's going to cost him four. And then he'll choose one of those other three colors to add to it. So he's going to go ahead and go with green for that. And he's got two Prisma left and a Gladius. So he'll go ahead and store the Gladius. And with these, he'll go ahead and hold on to those for later. So then he's going to draw. One, two, three. Zeus is up next. So Zeus has got six buying power as well. So Zeus is going to start working on buying cards for his ability. So he's going to go ahead and buy a big health card, Ambrosia. And that is all he can do for the turn. So then this will get shuffled back up. Moving back over to Artemis, she has two Mystical Pearls and three Prismas. So with that, she's going to go ahead and buy... Let's go ahead and buy a Beam Rifle. It'll give her some more attack power. And she's going to hold on to this last one as she doesn't have anything to buy with it. So there's three. He has four Prisma and a Gladius. So, again, he'll spend three to buy a Mystic Pearl. And so let's go ahead and store that one. And he's going to hold on to his other Prisma and his boost card. From here, I'm going to take a couple turns off camera. So welcome back. All right, so with this, we've had a couple of our players do some more upgrades to their accuracy and whatnot. And they're slowly starting to build their decks to become more powerful to do different things. We've had a couple of players focusing more on healing or countering. So this should be interesting to see how this turn goes. So Hades is up next. And he has five buying power and a nectar. So he's going to go ahead and he'll go ahead and store this. And then he's going to use his buying power. So he'll spend three to buy another Mystic Pearl. 
and he'll hold on to this one. So we'll go ahead and shuffle these up. With Zeus, he's got five buying power as well, and some other nice stuff. So with this, he's going to go ahead and spend a Mystic Pearl to destroy a Prisma. He'll hold on to this one, and then he's going to go ahead and spend these two to perform his Thunder Cannon. So again, he has to target Artemis because he doesn't have range to the other person yet. And with the character abilities, they automatically hit. So he is going to hit him and we'll flip over three cards. And each card that is red or purple is going to do 20 damage. So one, two, three, no luck. He didn't do any damage with that. All right. So then again, we'll draw back up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Artemis is up next, and she's got the Beam Rifle, a couple of Mystical Pearls, or Mystic Pearls. She's going to go ahead and use the Beam Rifle to activate the character ability, because you can use it as energy and any type of energy, so she'll go ahead and do that. And so this is going to do 20 to Zeus, and then it also does 10 to a play, another player on that team. So Hades will take 10 as well, and then she still has got some buying power. So let's go ahead and upgrade her Rate of Fire. And she's going to go ahead and buy a boost card as well. So she got a counter card as well, a tactical blunder. So this will be good. And this says, if a player deals damage to you via standard attack or character ability, deal that damage to them instead. Ooh, this could be a really good one against Zeus. So she's going to hold on to that and we'll see if we can get a good one off on him. One, two, three. He's got a blocker card that could be come in handy. And he is going to go ahead and spend six to buy the Soul Fire to help him work on his ability there. And he is going to go ahead and store this one here. Moving back over to Hades now, we've got a couple of Mystic Pearls and Prismas, an Elixir. So... Let's go ahead and use the Elixir in one of the Prismas to activate his Necromancer ability, and he'll have to use the Nectar out of here for that. So that'll activate that, and it says that he, you can either heal yourself or an ally for 20 hit points, and then deal 20 damage to enemy in range. So he's going to heal Zeus 20, and then he'll do t uh, 20 over to Ares. So with Ares, he uh, does have a counter. It says if an enemy deals more than 10 damage to you via standard attack or character ability, flip a boost card, and if it is red or green, it is not, then he would reduce that damage by 10. So unfortunately it didn't work, so he'll take 20 damage. And then Hades still does have five buying power. So he's gonna go ahead and spend a Mystic Pearl to destroy the Prisma card, and he'll hold on to this one here. With the Zeus, he has five buying power in a blocker. So with him, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and buy a sword. And then he's going to hold on to both of these for later. Artemis is up next and she has six buying power and the Gladius. So she's going to go ahead and buy another sword, the Soul Fire. And she has a Gladius, so she's going to perform an attack with that against Zeus. So again, we're going to reveal if we get a blue or red, which we didn't, so that is going to fail. And she'll draw back up. One, two, three. So we have three buying power and two powerful cards for blocking and attack. So again, let's spend two Prisma to eliminate or destroy one. And so let's go ahead and perform an attack against Hades over there. So we have the Soul Fire. We'll flip and it is not a red, so it does not go off. And he's gonna go ahead and hold on to this one as this is a really nice powerful blocking card. All right, back over to Hades, we have five buying power, a Nectar and an Elixir. Let's go ahead and activate his ability again for Necromancer. This will let us heal 20 HP, so he'll go ahead and heal himself 20, and then he's gonna do 20 over to Ares here. 
So Ares is going to first activate his ability to see if he counters it. And he does, so he's going to reduce it by 10. And then he might as well go ahead and use his card to block the rest. Now, since he used the card, he won't get to redraw back up during his, before his turn. And then we have four buying power left with Hades, who is going to... He's going to hold on to these and wait for them to use the next turn. Zeus is up next. We have five buying power and a blue. So, again, he'll spend two to destroy a Prisma. He'll go ahead and buy a boost, which is a red, another counter. So our players have got tons of counters. Okay. And he's going to hold on to this counter. All right, Artemis is up. She's got a good amount of buying power. So she's going to go ahead and spend the five to buy a reinforcement. So she has found Siege Tanks. Once per turn, prevent one enemy player from healing himself or their allies until the beginning of their next turn. So this could be really powerful for her as our other two players over there are doing a lot of healing. So that'll be good. And then she does have the beam rifle. So again, she'll use that to activate her character ability. So Zeus will take 20, but he is going to use the counter. So that'll stop that from happening. And it's set with her ability, it says, deal 20 damage to an enemy in range. If damage is dealt, pick an enemy adjacent. So he stopped the damage. So we Hades is also not going to take 10 damage from the piercing effect. So that is the end of her turn. So one, And over to Ares to take his turn. So we've got five buying power and the, the soul fire sword. We'll spend three to... Well, let's go ahead and spend five to get a reinforcement as well with him. So he has the Inquisition. So once per turn, force one player to show you their hand. So that'll potentially be helpful to him. And he's going to go ahead and spend the Soul Fire and our, the uh, Aqua Energy to activate our Decimation. So this is going to do 40 damage to an enemy in range. If blocked, you're going to flip a boost. And if it is blue, the block is ineffective. So he's going to go ahead and target Hades as he is the only one in range. And so Hades, I don't think Hades has a block. He does not. So he is going to take the full brunt of that damage for 40. And then Ares will draw back up. All right. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple more turns off camera and we'll come back. Okay. So we've had another couple turns go and our player, our team up here with between Artemis and Ares have been doing some serious damage to these guys. Zeus ended up getting a really powerful character ability off the Thunder Cannon and got three cards. So he did a total of 60 damage, but Ares was able, he had that special card, the Tactical Blunder boost card that turned it around and hit uh, Zeus back. So he took a ton of damage in that one. And Hades has been taking some punishment as well from Ares using his ability. So our team over here is having a rough go of things. So let's see if they can turn it around a little bit before this game ends. So with Hades here, he's got five buying power, Nectar, and an Elixir. So he's going to go ahead and spend the Elixir to do Devour. So this will let him heal 10 HP and do 10 damage to an enemy in range. So Ares over there, is, or Artemis up there, has got that ability, so he's not going to be able, he's going to stop him from healing, but uh, Ares is going to take those 10 points of damage. And then Hades will go ahead and use Nectar, so this one will let him heal himself 10. And then he's got 5 buying power. So with that, he's going to go ahead and spend two to get rid of the Prisma. And he'll spend the other two to get a boost. So we got a future turn. Force an enemy to discard all of their boost cards. So could be useful. Zeus has got five buying power. And he's got that cannon again. Or ready to use that cannon again. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and buy another block. And he'll hold on to this one. And he's going to go ahead and fire off that character ability again. And again, he's going to target Artemis. So let's see what happens here. There's one, two, three. Oh, another 60 points of damage. And Artemis this time does not have anything to stop it. So he's going to take the full brunt of it. So 60 points will drop him down to 60. And then his ability will trigger. So he's going to flip a card. And if it's 
it is purple, so Zeus is going to take another 10, but that was well worth it. That was a huge hit. So Zeus has... Moving back over to Artemis, he does have the Chimera put on him. So with this card, it says at the beginning of his turn, he's going to flip a boost card. And if it's red or blue, this card will be discarded. Otherwise, he's going to lose 10 HP. So this time it didn't go off and it gets discarded instead. So we're moving into his turn. So he's got, or she's got some buying power. She's got uh, six buying power and the beam rifle. So she's going to go ahead and upgrade her accuracy one more time. And let's go with purple. Oh, well, let's do green. Why not? She's from the forest. And then she's going to go ahead and use the beam rifle on Zeus over there to try to, to do some more damage there. So she'll go ahead and flip. And green was the right one to choose. So she does 30 damage to him. And he does have a block card. So he's going to play this one to block 20 of that. So he'll only take 10. And then she is done with her turn. So she'll draw back up over to Ares for his turn. He's got four buying power and a couple of heavy blockers. So let's go ahead and spend three to buy a sword. We'll go ahead and store this. And then he'll draw back up. He'll hold on to the other two. All right, Hades up, is up next, so he's got five buying power, the Gladius, and the Nectar. So let's go ahead and start with, let's go ahead and buy another Nectar. We'll go ahead and use these two to activate his ability. And Aramis is going to stop that, but he's still going to be able to do the damage. And then he's got two for buying power, so he'll buy another boost card. So this is another future turn, force an enemy to discard all life energy from their hands. Okay, he's going to go ahead and use this card real quick on Ares to discard all of his boost cards, so he'll lose that card there, which is was a good card. All right, so we'll redraw. He's got three buying power, so he'll also buy a Nectar. And he's going to go ahead and use the sword to try to attack Aramis. So he needs a red or a blue. He hits for 20. Aramis does not have a block. Nope. So then Aramis's ability will trigger, and it does, so he will also take 10. And he might as well use this to block that, so... Actually, it cannot be used to block abilities, so he has to take it, so he'll just hold on to this instead. All right, so he'll draw back up. Moving back over to Aramis, she's got four buying power. So she'll go ahead and spend two to get rid of this Prisma. And then she's going to go ahead and do some standard attacks. So she has the Gladius here. She'll go ahead and target Zeus. She needs the purple as a fail, and she'll go ahead and try Soul Fire as well. That one is a hit. And Zeus does have the 20 blocks, so he'll just take 10 of that. And she'll hold on to the Prisma that she has remaining. Ares has got five buying power. He'll go ahead and buy another reinforcement card to see what he gets. So he's got the Nomine Lion. So this one is going to, all standard attacks against you are going to be reduced to zero damage while you own this card. So that's pretty powerful for him. And then he's going to go ahead and use his character ability again. So he's going to spend this card and this one from his charge station to fire at Hades for another 40 points of damage. And Hades does not have anything to stop it, so he's going to take another 40. So he's down to 30 points, and he'll hold on to his blocker, so he's got... So again, I'll take another couple turns off camera, and then we'll come back and see about wrapping this game up. So this is it. We're heading into the final run of the game. The boost deck is getting really low, and we're getting close to the apocalypse, which is going to trigger and do all kinds of nastiness to our players. So this will hopefully be a big turn for us. So let's go ahead and jump in, and Hades will be our first one to go. So Hades has got a lot of buying power. He's got seven points of buying power. And he's got an attack, so he's going to go ahead and fire off this attack here. 
and he'll target Ares as usual. He's going to do 10 damage to it. So I'll drop the Ares down to 90. And then he's going to go ahead and buy an M. Let's go ahead and get a good counter here. And he'll go ahead and hold on to this Prisma card. So he'll draw back up. So he's got there. So let's see what Zeus has got. He's got some pretty powerful stuff here. He can go ahead and activate his Thunder Cannon again. So let's go ahead and start off by doing that. So this one will let him, as usual, draw three cards. And he's going to go after Aramis again. So nothing there. There's one and two. All right, so we did 40 damage to Aramis. That'll be enough to drop Aramis out. And his Orion will trigger. And it does trigger, so he'll do 10 back. And that is the last card, so then we have to activate the Apocalypse. So with the Apocalypse, if a player has more than 40 HP, then every player is going to receive 40 unpreventable damage. So Zeus will go down to 30. Hades is down to 10. And Ares is going to drop down to 40. 50. And on top of that, the Apocalypse card is going to stop players from being re uh, revived for the remainder of the game. So then we'll reshuffle the boost deck and we will continue from there. Okay, so Zeus is going to go ahead and continue his turn. He's going to go ahead and use the sword to, well, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do the sword against Ares. So we'll reveal, and it's a wild, so you can count it as anything, so he's definitely going to count it as a success. And he'll do 20 damage to Ares, and we'll see if Ares has anything to stop that. Ares does have one counter, so he'll go ahead and use that to prevent that damage. All right, and Zeus does not have a higher firing power rate, so he cannot use this one yet. But he can activate his other ability, so this one will do 10 damage to Ares with that he cannot prevent. So that will drop him down to 40. And he'll go ahead and hold on to this card here, so he'll draw back up. So Ares has got some buying power, so he's going to go ahead and purchase... He'll go ahead and purchase another block card. Well, actually, he's going to go ahead and spend both of the Mystic Pearls to get rid of both of these Prismas. That way, then he can keep these defensive cards and hopefully stay alive. So Hades is up next. Hades has got a lot of healing power. He's going to try to get back in this. So first off, he's going to go ahead and spend this to do the Devour. And that'll heal him 10 and... Ares will go down by 10. And then he's going to try to do the Nectar, so that'll get him 10 points. And he's going to go ahead and put that Prisma in there to start charging up for the, his Necromancer ability. And he'll hold on to this last one. All right, so Zeus is up next. He's got a Nectar that he can start charging up the Thunder Cannon again. And he will go ahead, he's got five buying power, so he's going to go ahead and buy a Reinforcement. Try to find something good. So heal yourself an extra 10 HP each time you successfully heal yourself or an ally using life energy. So that's not bad. And he's going to hold on to the defense just in case he needs it. All right, so Ares is up next. So again, he's going to go ahead and fire off his big powerful ability, uh, 40 damage, onto Hades. So Hades does have a block that he can block 30 points with, but with that, if he reveals a blue card, it is unblockable. So now, unfor uh, unfortunately for Hades, that was a blue that came up. So Hades is going to take the full 40, and that will drop him out of the game. And then Ares has still got some cards left. So he has another one he can fire off again at uh, Zeus now. And Zeus, let's see if he has any blocking ability. He can block 20 of it. So again, we'll flip a card. If it's blue, it's not, so he does block 20. So he's going to take another only 20. So he's left with 10 hit points left. This is close. And then we have uh, 4 for buying power. So Ares will go ahead and upgrade his rate of fire as well. And he'll shuffle up. So Zeus has got some healing that he could do, potentially. 
or he can risk it and try to finish him off with that thunder cannon so let's go ahead and do that we'll go ahead and give that a go and see if we can get him so there's 40 and we'll flip the cards he needs red and purple there's 20 and 40 points of damage over to Ares. So let's see if Ares has got any blocking power. He does. He can block 30 points of that. But let's go ahead and see if his ability triggers first. The blue, no, it does not. So he'll go ahead and discard that to stop that and only take 10 points of that. Getting pretty furious over here. And we only got we have two buying power left. So he's gonna buy a boost card. And it's a future turn. All those with a hand must pass one card from their hand to the next participating player to the left. Character weapons cannot be passed. Mm, interesting. All right, so then we'll draw back up. All right, so Ares has got all kinds of stuff here. He doesn't have enough to fire off his big thing, but he's got plenty of attack cards, so he can hit them a couple times at least. So let's go ahead and start off with Soul Fire and see if we hit. It is successful, so that's 30 points. He can stop 20 of it, but 10 goes through, and that will be enough to finish off Zeus. So it was a fight to the bitter end, but Ares was able to pull out a, a victory right at the end there with his standard attack. Well, I hope the video gave you guys a good idea how the game plays. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below, or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop them there as well. I'm sure they would love to hear from you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it. I try to take into account everything you guys say to make the best possible videos. And if you enjoy these videos, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribing to my channel as it will help me to continue to grow and be able to bring these games to you guys. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.